Welcome everyone. I'm really excited tonight to be talking to you about my new program, Happy Healthy Me. This program aims to make me a better person and feel happier and healthy every day. I've got seven goals that I really want to achieve over the next little while about being a better person and a better me. So what my focuses are going to be about is more sleep, more exercise, more family time, good food, something for me every day, low tox load, and also more water. So over the next little while, I'm going to be sharing my journey with you and hoping that you guys will come along and share the journey too. This is not a weight loss journey. This is not a find ourselves journey, but it's actually all about just you becoming a better you, being the person that you want to be. I find that so many times we're doing things just because we have to, not because we want to. And I've found myself in a bit of a rut and in a position where I'm just kind of surviving my life rather than living it. And I want to be able to actually live my life and enjoy what I'm doing every day. So I'm hoping that I can inspire a few of you to do the same and share your inspiration and things that happen along the way as well. This isn't about me uh, finding an inner me or anything like that. It's just about me being able to be myself. I'm hoping to get um, some more water into my body in the mornings and also throughout the day so I can change my uh, cup of tea intake and also help my body be able to function at a higher level. Sleep's a massive thing for me. After having my first child seven years ago, I really haven't slept probably for seven years. I've been interrupted with my sleep for the past seven years on and off and then also going straight into work and also doing a course last year. I really haven't had much more than five hours sleep most nights for the last at least, oh well, <laughs> six years, maybe seven, so all up. So it's going to be a big thing for me getting my sleep back on track and I really can't wait to do that as well. So um, really, really excited to share this journey with you. And also I'm going to start doing some exercise and hoping that you guys can come along and do your exercise as well. It doesn't have to be full on intense. It can be if you want to. It can be as simple as just moving. Like I like to dance when I clean, things like that. So we'll be sharing little fun things that you can do throughout the day to help you as well. Now, as you all know, food is a massive, massive part of my life. Doing additive free eating has changed my life dramatically. I've got so much more energy and I don't get bloated or feel yucky anymore. So, and my skin's so much better. So, additive free for eating has been massive for me and I need to keep going on that line. I want more food out of my garden. I want to be producing more food. I want to be finding more organic options for myself and my family and also just eating straight from the garden to the plate is a massive thing for me so I need to be doing more of that I find that as soon as I've got busy I haven't been able to do as much of that that I would like um, my toxic load is another thing that I've always been working towards so the past three years I've really lowered my toxic load in my house I now make all my own hand washes uh, dishwashing detergents I use my own toilet sprays, everything like that. My own cleaners, everything has been lowering my toxic load. Also, when we're feeling unwell, I've been able to use essential oils to help do that as well. So that's been a massive, massive shift in my mindset for lowering our toxic load. One of the biggest things that I'm really, really going to try and do is to do something for myself every day. So I find it really, really hard to actually do something for me because I'm so busy, I'm so under the pump, I need to feed people, I need to get to work, I need to make sure little people are dressed and have food and be um, there for everyone. But I also need to be there for myself. And I find that as parents or as people, we often give more of ourselves and forget to look after ourselves as well. I remember my first mother's group and the lady that was taking mother's group said to us that we have to look after ourselves. If the mum falls down, then the whole pyramid sinks. And it's really, really important that even if you don't have kids, that you look after yourself because with your work, with your life, whatever you're doing, 
if you are not well, if you are not able to nourish yourself and give yourself exercise or be happy, then you can't give to others or you can't be there in the end because you'll end up getting sick and ran down and not be able to get through it. So it's really important that I do something for myself. It could be as simple as sitting outside for five minutes or going for a walk or going and patting my horses or doing just doing something that isn't the animal, having to feed animals, look after children or work would be really nice even just to sit down and watch something on tv you know um could be a really nice thing to do so that's going to be um my thing so the other thing is i find myself um when we're trying to do family time i keep doing work so i'm having to stop myself and having to think about actually giving the kids the time and my husband the time rather than me just doing lots of other things so i'm going to be putting down my phone putting down my devices more and just being present, being present in the moment with the kids, with my husband and just enjoying life, enjoying being there rather than looking at a screen and worrying about that. So that's been a big thing for me. I've now got on a uh, um, timer that tells you about how long you've been on the internet and things like that. So that's been really handy as well. So because I run my business off, the um, Facebook and things and it's been important for me to be aware of that also so that's been really good more um, water is going to be a big one for me I find that I uh, would go for a cup of tea because that has been my go-to when I haven't had a lot of sleep so I'm just going to try and cut back on the tea and go for more herbal and things like that but just try and have a water bottle with me all the time rather than be um, having a cup of tea with me so that's going to be a tricky one i'm thinking warm water and maybe some lemon essential oil or things like that to help me get through that so yeah hopefully you guys um, are keen to come along this journey with me i'll be also taking my uh, essential oil supplements as well to help out there and supporting myself that way so i'll let you in on a little bit of that as well and and hopefully you'll get some insight into what I'm up to and that you'll get to enjoy it as well and get some positive impact from it as well. Alright guys, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.